Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I will show you how to make this happy Grinch with 100% cotton yarn and 1.75 cm crochet hook. All the information is in the link down below. Next, next week will be this mini elf. You already know the Santa Claus, it's already uploaded here. And to finish up, I will do this little chubby reindeer. I really hope you enjoy and let's start with the Grinch. So we will start here with a magic ring and we will prepare the arms for the Grinch. All right, so you make a magic ring and you crochet six single crochet in the magic ring. Okay, if you don't know how to make the magic ring, there is a link in the description below here, this video, which will take you to a complete tutorial, more slow, showing you more in detail how I make this magic ring. All right, here I go at once and a little bit faster for the sake of the tutorial. So let's pull it tight and close this magic ring. And now for the second round, you'll make one increase and two single crochet. So one increase here in this first stitch. When I say one increase, that means you will crochet two single crochet inside the same stitch. All right. And now you make one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then again, one increase, so here, two single crochets inside the same stitch, that's the increase. One single crochet, one single crochet. So here we have the beginning done. All right, I will show you here, I like to secure very uh, nice, my yarn, my beginning of the yarn. And I just hide a little bit this tail inside. Just to make sure that it's secure and nice and is not nothing will unravel or this hole for the magic ring will remain very tight. Okay. That looks super good. Now we'll, we'll make the length of the arm. So for the round 3 to 11 you will just crochet eight single crochet, okay? So here it's super fast, fast and super easy. You'll just crochet eight single crochet all around until you complete the 11th round. I will catch you up once I'm done here. All right, so this is the arm, okay? And you make another one. So here you finish off and that's it, the arms and put it on the side for now. So again, now we'll start with the magic ring. Now we will start the Grinch. So here we will work from the legs to the head. So for the first round, you will crochet again, six single crochet inside the magic ring. Since you know how to make this already, I will move forward a little bit. Great, this is looking nice. Now for the second round, you'll make six increases. So that means you'll crochet two single crochet inside every in each stitch of this round. So you'll have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round, okay? All right, this is looking very nice. I will make again, I will secure this yarn again. I always do that in every beginning of my toys. Great, what we are going to work here now is with the back post single crochet. So you will make 12 back post single crochet. I like to make my, not my feet, but the feet of my crochet toys like this, all right?
If you don't know how to make the back post single crochet and if this video is very fast for you to see, there is a link in the description below. And this is how it should be looking like once you finish the 12 stitches. Now we will work two rounds only with 12 single crochet. So for round 4 and 5, just 12 single crochet. Okay, work your rounds and come back and meet me here. This is how it should be looking like once you finish your round. So you make another one following this same instructions, but the second leg you don't fasten off. So here is the first leg. I'll insert my hook in any stitch of this leg and I will pull the loop through. All right, this is how I will connect these legs. And then you will start crocheting together. So you will work 12 single crochet from one leg and 12 single crochet from another leg. So for round six, you will have total 24 single crochet. All right, that's it. Just make one single crochet inside every stitch of these two legs. That's great, I will show you here very fast. Just to remind you that the stitch that we insert, the loop, is a stitch that you need to work. Otherwise, it will be only 11 stitches. That's not what we want. This is how it should be looking like, very nice. I will start adding here my stitch marker. I just use a piece of different color yarn. And for round seven, you will work one single crochet, one increase, and you will repeat 12 times. Okay? So here you work one single crochet, one increase, repeat 12 times, and you should have 36 stitches at the end of the round. I always suggest you to count how many stitches you have at the end of the round just to make sure you are on the right track. Great, this is looking very nice. Now here you will work round 8 to 10, just 36 single crochet. So for the next 3 rounds you will work only 36 single crochet. Very simple. So work your rounds here, stop the video and I will catch you up at the end of the round. All right, this is looking good. We can see already some little stomach here. And for round number 11, now moving forward, we will work, start working some decreases. So here you will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat 12 times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of the round. So here I'm using the invisible decrease, which means you will grab only the front loop of the stitches. Okay, if you don't know how to make the invisible decrease, there is a link in the description below, but here you can see. You see just the front loop of the two next stitches and you continue with a single crochet. And this is how it should be looking like once you finish all the decreases. I suggest you always count how many stitches you have. So now you will work around 12 and 13, 24 single crochet. Okay. So again here you will work all, uh, two rounds only with the single crochet. All right. So once your rounds are finished, this is how it should be looking like. And now let's move on for round number 14. You will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. Right, so two single crochet, one decrease, you repeat all over until the end of the round, and I will catch you up at the end. Okay, this is how it should be looking like. So now for round number 15 and 16, you'll work just 18 single crochet. No increase, no decreases, just single crochet. All right? Work your rounds here, stop the video, and I will catch you up at the end of this round. All 
All right, this is great. So here you add a little bit of stuffing material before you continue to the next round. So this will be a little bit more firm for you to work with. I rather like that. For the next round, we will start connecting the arms. So here for round number 17, you will start working for a single crochet. Okay. And then you will work four single crochet connecting the arms. All right? So you have eight single crochet in the arms, right? So it's four in one side and four in another side. See? And you will crochet like this, grabbing two stitches. So you will have four single crochet here to work with. All right? Let's crochet it here together so you know what I'm talking about. So I insert my hook in the arms first and then in one stitch from the body and I make one single crochet here. All right, so now for the next I grab the two stitches here for, from the arm one stitch here from the body. Okay. And I make the single crochet. So we have two single crochets here. So now for the third. All right. And again, a single crochet. And the last one here. And one stitch from the body. And you have one single crochet. So four single crochet. This is how it should be looking like. And now you continue following up the pattern for the seventh round. That you will crochet on the other side. Great. So this is how it should be looking like. The arms are already there. So no sewing for this pattern, which is adorable. I always like no sewing pattern. Here we'll make the round number 18, just 18 single crochet. Okay? So very simple, very easy, just 18 single crochet. And I will catch you up at the end of this round. Great. So here we are. Now for round number 19, you will make 18 increases. So that means you will crochet two single crochet inside each stitch here. At the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. Always count how many stitches you have at the end of the round just to make sure you are on the track, okay? So this is how it should be looking like. We already start the head. So for round number 20, you will work five single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so here you work five single crochet, Just make sure that you're grabbing the stitches nice because the stitch from the previous row might be very close together because there are many of them. And here it's my increase. Okay, repeat all the way around and I will catch you up at the end of this round. All right, so this is how we should be looking like. Now we will work a couple of rounds only with 42 single crochet. So for round 21 to 25, you will work just 42 single crochet, which means you will grow here five rounds. Okay, 
I will catch you up at the end of the round number 25. Great, this is how it should be looking like. Now we will do a decreases here. So for round 26, you will work five single crochet and then you will start working one single crochet, one decrease, you repeat 12 times and you will have one single crochet left. At the end of this round, you work one single crochet and you should have 30 stitches here at the end of the round. All right. Okay, so here I work my five single crochet. Now I'll start with the repetition. So one single crochet, one decrease, and I will repeat this all the way. And I will have one stitch here at the end. Great. All right. So this is how it should be looking like. This is very nice. Now for round 27 to 29, you will work just 30 single crochet. So here you will grow three rounds only with 30 stitches, 30 single crochet. Stop the video here, work your rounds, and I will catch you up at the end.